Hey everyone, this is Army Tricks from Game Tech, and today I thought I'd make a remake of one of my older videos, a tutorial on how to record your Android device's screen. So, first of all, what you'll need to do is go onto this website, which I'll leave in the description, and download Droid at Screen. You can download the latest version, but I sort of recommend the older ones because they're slightly less laggy. So once you've downloaded this, you'll also need to download this Android SDK. Click download here, and if you want to download for other platforms, click down here and it should come up with any other platform and version you will ever need. So once you've downloaded Android SDK from this website, you will need to find where you have saved it. Mine is right here, and you'll find something called SDK Manager inside it. Double click that and it will open up in a couple of minutes, not really. Okay, it'll open up quite quickly like this. And what you want to install is Android SDK tools, platform tools, and all the build tools. You don't need to install anything else. All those, all those five, that's it. That's all you need to install. And make sure they are the latest version. So just to make sure your, your recording actually works. So once you've done that, you are almost ready to go. Now you need to find out your model and make of your device. So say you have a Samsung device, you will need to install keys. Samsung keys, it's, it's your driver for your Samsung device. That will let your device connect to the computer with the proper drivers. So if you have a Samsung, Samsung device, you'll need Samsung keys. If you have a HTC device, you'll need HTC Sync Manager, etc, etc. So, yeah, if you have a Nokia device, you will need Zune or something like that. Okay, so now we are ready to get started. Find out where you saved Droid at Screen. So I have the oldest version ever right here. So before you open that, plug in your device and you'll com wait till your computer actually detects it. And once it has been detected, double click and open your device. When your Droid X screen launches like this, what you will first see is something that looks a little like this. So if something like this comes up, what you'll need to do is click here and head over to where your, where your um, Android SDK is saved, so mine is right here. Now, once you've gone into that, click Platform Tools and find avb.exe. Double click that, hit open, and click OK. If that doesn't come up for you, go into Options and ADB Executable Path and continue on from what I just said there. And it should soon detect your device which has been installed onto the computer so I haven't plugged it in yet I'm gonna plug it in now there we go and it should soon be detected and show up on your screen there we go here it is coming up and yep that's my tablet showing up right now and it's it's actually live so you can play around with it if you want if I click the menu screen it should switch to the menu in a couple of seconds. There we go. So it's not the smoothest of things, but it's good enough to record a simple app review, things like that. Just play around with it, have a look with a bigger screen. So yeah, it's great to use. You can do whatever you want with it. And it's the best solution to recording your Android screen without rooting your device. So thanks for watching guys, and that is a simple way to record your Android screen without rooting your device. See ya and look out for more videos by Game Tech.